I'm so tired. It's 1.30 a.m. My third night of being awake. Straight. But hopefully I'll be able to sleep. Tonight. Dirty homeless scrub. Dirty homeless scrub. Life is hell for a dirty homeless scrub. Dirty homeless scrub. Dirty homeless scrub. Life is hell for this dirty homeless scrub. So there's this spot that's tucked in a corner between buildings and it's dark. And it's still windy out. I don't know if you can hear it. Um, it's pretty dark back there. There's no lights, but it's a it's a sidewalk I'm sleeping on. So it's still concrete, but I don't think anybody could see back there. In fact, no, because I can't see shit. And I'm looking right at it. See, it's pitch black. I just hope I'm not seen walking back here. Pitch black. I'm sorry, I'm not turning on the flashlight. I do not want to be seen back here. But yeah, it's pitch black. I like it. just turned a corner but I'm not <laughs> see that box on the ground and that drink Somebody's sleeping right there. Huh. Looks like I'll be able to get away with it right here. Yeah. Alright, I want to get some sleep. I'll turn back on in the morning. Good night, yo. Okay, even though I set my alarm for 6, it's just after 5.30. So I got about four hours of sleep before I woke up. I'm still tired. It doesn't seem like I uh, actually slept. I'm cold too. <sighs> Chilly as shit out here this morning. Yeah, I need to find somewhere warm and softer to sleep on. I had to put a hood on and shit. I had to zip my pant legs back on and shit. Oh. Yeah, I'm chilly. I probably wouldn't be this chilly if I didn't sleep on concrete. this. There's nothing to do. Like when I was in Glenview, when I woke up early, I can go inside the train station and sit for a little bit. I don't have that here. Yeah, so I don't know. It's 
much as I wish I could stay here, I can't if I'm homeless. I gotta go home. Even though it's colder at home. But there's other options in, in a situation like right now where I'm cold and I got nowhere to go. Shit, there's nothing open right now to go inside, well, the gas station. Oh my God, why am I shivering? I know it's not this cold out here, but I think laying on the concrete got my core cold. Like, no, it's not that cold. It can't be. It's like fucking Nevada. It... Oh, man, I don't know what to do. I don't want to be that cold when I'm going home. Can't wait for that sun to come out. <laughs> that sun will warm it up instantly here. Oh my god, I'm sorry for the shakiness of the camera, but I'm literally shivering. <sighs> oh. I'm sorry, what's that? Nah, I'm sorry, man. Great Malenko, great wave Malenko. your wand. No, <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm new to the area. Oh, hell. And he's like, Mad Malenko. <laughs> That's your great Malenko, Mad yeah. Malenko. I guess so. <laughs> ah, shit. That's all it means. Oh! <laughs> oh, that's all it means. Man, at least. Pulling away. Pulled up. Parked right there. Got out the car and asked me if I knew where to get any crystal. Are you fucking for real? <sighs> Ooh, look at that. <sighs> Give me, give me that, even though I don't really need it, I'll take it. Okay, I'm not going to loiter at this gas station. Shift change. The guy who just got off his shift was cool. He's a juggalo, I guess. Yeah, whoop, whoop. Ha <laughs> ha. But this dude right back there is all kinds of fucked up, and I'm not about to ring, hang out around that. It's a little after six. Oh, by the way, thank you guys. Because of uh, a few donations I got, I just bought a coffee. Thank you. And I'm sorry I wasted a dollar on a cup of coffee. But I appreciate it because it's chilly and this is hot and it's helpful right now. Considering it's only 6 a.m., I really don't know where I can go. Ugh. Oh, excuse that. It's still a little bit chilly out here. Wow. Um, yeah. I think I'm just gonna go sit over here. Hopefully, one of these walls will block the wind. Uh, at uh, seven. I can go chill by Walmart at least on their Wi-Fi signal. Okay, this really doesn't block any wind. I should have known, like, really? I mean, it's not even a strong wind. It's just a slight breeze. But it's enough. Uh, yeah, so I don't know what I'm going to do. Like, for real. I don't have money to get home. I 
I don't know, man. Uh, I've got money. It's just not enough to get home. I really need sleep. Like, I just got a couple hours, yes. But I don't feel like I got any. I was shivering. I was cold. My back was killing me. I so I kept rolling over this side. Then my hip bone was digging into the concrete. That kind of hurt. So, nope, now I got to flip onto this hip. So, I am not refreshed. I don't know why I felt more refreshed when I caught two hours of sleep that one day yesterday, yesterday compared to the four hours last night. I remember when Cat first kicked me out, I pulled an all-nighter at the casinos. I turned $13 into a motel room, cigarettes. That hotel room, I remember, was kind of cheap. If I remember correctly, it was 50 plus a $10 key deposit, but I got that key deposit back the next morning. I could afford that right now. It's tempting. I really want to do it. Oh, why? Why? See, why? Where did this come from? I really want to do it. But at the same time, if I spend it, I'm that much further from home. I'm torn. I don't know what to do. And I have no reason for my eyes to be tearing up right now. I'm not upset about anything, but yet my body wants to tear. I feel like I'm in a relatively good mood. Just a little slow in my thought process. <clears throat> and my phone cut that off to tell me that my battery's about to die. Shit. That sucks. <laughs> Fuck. Well, it's at 25%. But when my battery's that low, a video camera drains it quick. But anyway, as I was saying, I don't know what to do, man. I really need comfortable sleep. And I need that sun to come up to warm my ass. <laughs> I'm in a hoodie, and I sewed my pant legs back on, and I'm still cold. Fuck. What's the sign for? Lake Mead Parkway Trail map and rules. Oh, wait, what? Parkway Trail? Really? Lake B Trail Exit. I don't I don't understand this map. Either I'm too tired right now to even try, or it's just a bunch of lines not really explaining much. I don't know. Man, look at all the bird shit all around. <laughs> what the fuck? <sighs> What the hell is back here? Uh, I found somebody's Altel One Touch phone. What? And it's still got a battery. I wonder if I can call somebody. <laughs> okay, let's see. Five, five, five. Nine six or nine eight zero 
three, two, one, four. Fuck it. Oh, it's not dialing. <laughs> Key guard enabled, unlock. Oh, it's got a lock on it. No. No, get out of that. Okay. Oh, somebody got lucky. I can't get into their phone. Focus. Come on, camera. There we go. Yeah, see. Key card enabled. One, 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 one. Wait, it says press OK, then back. Press OK, then back. Press OK, then back. It's not working. Okay, I'm back. Okay, I'm back. Okay, and back. Nothing's working, bitches. Ooh, I found a dime down there too. I wonder if anybody dropped anything of value. I'm gonna go check behind this one. Nope. <laughs> uh. So back to the contemplation at hand. Do I wanna get a motel room or don't I? I wish you guys could give me comments before I gotta make up my mind. But if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it first thing so I have it all day and all night. So I don't have time to wait for your comments whether I should do it or not. And I don't want to upset any of you guys. I don't. You guys donate to me to help me. And I appreciate that. But I don't want to upset you guys by spending it somehow that you didn't want me to spend it. Like, because technically right now, you donated it to me, yes. But I feel like the money in my pocket is still y'all's. You guys are buying me this. You guys are buying me that. I don't feel like it's my money yet. Because I didn't earn it. So I don't feel like it's mine. Which is why I wish this was live. And I could actually get fucking live comments. Because <laughs> I don't want to piss off any of you. I don't want you thinking I'm wasting shit. I don't want you thinking that I'm just trying to scam you to get free money to buy what I want. It's like, I don't know what to do, man. I really don't. I mean, technically, I'm going to be honest, I'm surprised I haven't spent any of it yet, really. You know how hard it is to be on the streets all night long with money in your pocket and not spend it because of things you need? <laughs> I've had this money for a few days now. Well, no, no, I haven't. Sorry, I've been on the streets for a few days now. It just, these days are mixing for me. I forget, it's only been a couple days since I got out of the house. But I've had it in my pocket like almost this whole time. And I know I'm patting myself on the back. Ooh, that's a harsh cigarette. But I haven't spent. Well, okay, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I spent a couple dollars. Like, I just bought this coffee. But. I don't know. I'm trying not. I'm trying not to pull another Nana situation. I feel bad that I didn't get those shoes. I do, I feel really shitty, especially because I offended him. And if you guys know me, I don't try to offend people. I don't try to... I try... I don't know. But it's like, if I get that room, 
tonight, that's pushing me further back to going home. And the longer I'm on the streets here, the, I don't know, I worry about my stuff. It's still in Doug's house. And I'm not going to give up too many personal details, but um, I'm just going to say he wasn't too happy with me when I left the house. I'll give a little information, just a little bit, because I don't want to give out personal details about somebody else, but it has something to do with that whole uh, cracked sanity thing. Um, so he's not too thrilled with me. And no, it's not because I was using Crack Sanity. Because Crack Sanity was an actual profile already created, not by me. But I will say that Doug knows who Crack Sanity is. And he's upset with me because he thinks I used that person's account. And it's all because of the comments y'all were saying. So you guys got Doug mad at me for no fuck night. Y'all trolls got Doug mad at me for something because you guys assumed I was doing something. So thank you trolls. You guys got me kicked out of my house. So anyway, to get back to what I was originally talking about, I don't want to do that again. I don't want to sub, uh, I don't want to offend any more of you. I'm sorry I offended Nana, which I know he can't see this because I think I blocked his ass. And I feel bad doing that because Nana was a straight dude. He was cool. I just, I can't have any more drama in my comments. I will cut that shit off instantly. I won't stop negative comments because everybody's entitled to their opinion. And this is a social fucking media platform where I believe everybody has a right to voice their opinion. However, when people start arguing and fighting amongst themselves in my videos where I'm stuck watching that shit because I get notified every fucking time. I'm just gonna cut that shit off at the end, right there, bam, nope, snip, gone. I don't have the time to fucking listen to y'all dramas bitching back and forth. Although, the reason why there is bitching back and forth is because one half of that party is defending me, which I appreciate. But I'm still tired of seeing that shit. So, I don't want to offend nobody. Which is why I really don't know what to do. Because I appreciate you guys. Every one of you. Even those silent viewers. And there's many of you. Because I got 550 subscribers. I get at least 300 views. And only like a dozen viewers comment. So there's a lot of silent people there. I appreciate you guys too. <laughs> because you're actually taking the time to listen to me bitch. And whine and complain. <laughs> lately, that is. And I'm sorry I've been doing that. I really am. I'm sorry I've been, that's all I've been doing lately. But to be honest, I kind of have to. Ah, shit. My phone just told me it's down to 15% now. See, it drains quick. And I've got nowhere to charge yet. <sighs> you know, the more I look at these rock walls, the more they look cool. <laughs> Wait, that's a brilliant idea. Nevada is nothing but rock and dirt. Why not do something with it? That is fucking awesome. I like that shit. 
At least this town is artistic. Vegas is a lot more artistic, though, because, like, they actually have an art district. Ugh. Let's see how much I can zoom on the city. That's as close as I can get, and I'm sorry it's shaky. Enough American flags, though? Like, seriously. Are we proud of ourselves or what? I'm not. <laughs> uh, oh, an airplane in the sky. I'm so bored. I wish I had some titties in my face. <laughs> oh, my bad, guys. <laughs> I think I'm getting loopy or something. <sighs> you motherfuckers better not shit on me. I see it all over the ground. Better not shit on me. You heard me? You heard me, guys? You better not shit on me. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. God, I'm going fucking nuts. I don't think I finished my thought. I think I got sidetracked. When I was talking about... I don't know how much longer... Or... I was talking about staying here, but with my stuff being at Doug's and he wasn't thrilled with me when I left I'm afraid that if I don't get my stuff off his property soon then he might throw it out and that would suck because that's my two blankets that's my father's ashes God rest his soul his ashes are in my bag that's my handwritten book that's my artwork that's all the little tiny things that I've collected like throughout my life but I still got in his house and I don't know much how I don't know how much longer he's gonna be there I don't want to lose that shit and there's nowhere else for me to stash it here so the longer I sit here and the longer it takes me to get home the more opportunity I have to lose all that stuff. And I don't want to lose my dad's ashes. I don't want to lose any of that stuff. Because that handwritten book, I want to eventually finish typing up and sell. It's a good story. I've even got part two halfway written. And I wrote it for a whole series. about an, a, a boy who was cursed generations past and on his 18th birthday he gets cursed with the man beast which is a, a, a werewolf what it is the main character is practically me at the age of 18 if I was rich it, it's filled with uh it's got drug use, explicit sex, it's got romance, and it's got, like, bloody massacre killings and stuff. I fucking love that book. So I want to get that sold instead of just let it get tossed out. But the longer I stay here the more chances I have of losing it. So if I do get a hotel room, that's the chance I'm going to have to take. That's why, I don't know. I got to weigh my options here. And I don't know, because I don't know how to read the scale. That's why I wish this was live, so I can get to you guys' feedback. That's one thing I miss about having a companion, whether it was Cat 
or whether it was Panther. I had somebody to talk out these things and help me help me come up with a better conclusion. You know what I mean? Like, because sometimes I can't make up my mind. And with other people's input, it helps me make a correct decision. I can bounce ideas off of people and get an immediate answer. Because, like, if I wait for your guys' input, it'll be too late for me to get the room. Because I wasted the whole day waiting for your guys' comments. Because it's going to take me a while to edit and upload this. It's now 6.38. It's only been a half hour since... Well, I don't fucking know. But my phone is now a 10% battery. Ugh. Man. I don't know what to do. If I get a hotel room, check out is at 11. So I'm assuming that's the earliest I could check in. So maybe if I cut recording now, I might be able to go to Albertsons for their outlet throw together this video and then go to Walmart for their Wi-Fi and upload it right quick so then maybe I might get a response or two by 11 o'clock I don't know because like I said I feel like it's not my money I feel like I'm holding on to your money I know one of you guys who donated specifically said in the donation, because you can leave a comment when you donate to PayPal, one of you guys said spend it for what you need. So he, he even said, I believe, I hope I'm saying this right, it might have been one of my other donations, but I believe the guy, even the person even said, you know, buy cigarettes, buy your weed, buy, buy this, buy that. Thank you, which means you're leaving that option up to me. Especially because you said buy weed. Meaning you really don't care. You just want me to have, um, to get what I need. You just cared enough to help. I love that. I love you for that, brother. But, uh, I can't buy weed. As much as I would like to, I can't. I've got much more things I need. Much more important things. Like possibly a room. Or possibly getting home. I know what's important, which is why when uh, one of them trolls told Nana in a comment that that shoe money probably went for cigarettes and weed, the fuck it did. I know what's important. Uh, I wish I could make up my mind. I just don't want to offend any of you. That's what my, that's what my problem is. You guys cared enough to help me. I can care enough back to respect you for it. And I don't want to disrespect any of you. I don't even want to disrespect, like, just anybody. Like, I don't, I'm not about that. I'm not about disrespect or offending people. That's not who I am anymore. I'm not going to lie. When I was younger, I was a prick. I didn't give a fuck about anybody but myself. I didn't care who I offended. But I grew up. I don't know if I grew up fully yet, because y'all see how immature I act sometimes. <sighs> what to do? Man, these backpack straps are killing me. You know how, like, your shoulder bones, you got that one that goes over, but then you got that skinny one that goes right through here? On both sides, that skinny one fucking hurt. Because the weight of this keeps pulling it down. I bet you if I were to take my shirt off, you'll probably see, like, 
red marks or bruising or something because this shit fucking hurts. But I'm on my way to Albertsons so I could sit down and charge. I don't know if I'm going to edit and upload this right now or if I'm going to continue talking to you guys. I don't know. Oh, I should have crossed at that intersection. Fuck. Man, I've had a song stuck in my head all fucking night. My own song. Thought I just wrote and was recording at Doug's house. I threw it together. I put my, my vocals on the beat. <laughs> well, that sucked. <laughs> the battery died in the middle of me talking. I guess my phone's like, you're talking too much. But, <clears throat> as I was saying, I uh, put my lyrics on the beat. And I made it an MP3 so I can hear it and memorize it. Because you know how when you the first recording you do probably isn't the best one? All I had enough time was to record two takes, so I threw the best one together, and now I can hear it in my head, like, listen to it, and I can do it better, you know? But I got that shit stuck in my head now, because now I memorized every word, every thing, I know it all. Oh, and if I do get a hotel room tonight, I can record it and finish it. And then send it to my producer to master that shit and put it up. So there's two good things about getting a room tonight. Okay. I'm going to contemplate this. There's two pros about getting the room. The con is I'm here longer. With nowhere to sleep. Well... I could probably get a couple hours of sleep each night. But it's kind of chilly doing that. So that's two pros, one con so far. Hmm. Alright, now let's go the other route. Pros and cons about not getting the room. Pro... I'm that much closer to home. But that could also be a con because it's really fucking cold at home. And there's always that the thought about, okay, say I get enough money for a Greyhound ticket tomorrow. And then I go get my stuff at Doug's house and my stuff is gone. Now I'm going back to Glenview without my blankets, without all my shit. And I'm really going to be cold. And I lost my shit anyway. I could have just stayed here for that. But if I don't go home, I'm going to miss my homies. Like seriously, Tunes, I miss you more than you even know. You're like, I've known you for shit. What, is it going on 15 years? <laughs> and Vita, I'm not, I'm not forgetting about you too. I'll, I'm shouting you out. Vita, I've known you, so, well, you know, you're the long, I don't think I've any, known anybody longer than I've known you, Vita. <laughs> You've known me since my older brother was 10. <laughs> So you're, honestly, I'd say you're probably my longest friend. I can't say best friend because you're not the only one that helps me, Vita. So I can't say best friend, but you're one of the top. Well, see, I don't really have a best friend, so don't get offended, Vita. 
Toons is more than more than willing to help me out any way he can. That motherfucker's got my back. Oh. I don't know what to do, man. I wish I could have it all. I wish I could. I wish I could have my own place here. I wish that all my homies could come move here so I could have my fucking tight ass homies in an awesome fucking area. That's that's another thing, man. Vegas is fucking awesome. It's fun. You could be broke and still have fun. You could see free shows. The strip, or not the strip, the Fremont Experience. You saw them concerts they were putting on. Yeah, they were like house bands, but still, they're good. You know, they play decent songs, you know? Got all this beauty around us. Exploring caves and shit. Can't do none of that in ho- at home. Why can't I make up my mind? Why is this shit so hard? I don't know what to do. I want to go home, but I don't. I probably should go home. But at the same time, I feel like if I go back home, sleeping in that gazebo, I'm walking back into town with my tail between my legs, a failure. Because I left home (coughs) to better myself. And I failed again. This is such a stressful time for me right now. Uh, I'm doing one of these stressful twitches. Haven't done shit like that in a while and I just now noticed. bet you this is what a spinner is good for but I gave my spinners away to Reaper <laughs> two days ago I think it was Reaper was sitting over here at Albertson's he was flick no Walmart and he started flicking a spinner I'm like oh damn you like spinners he's like it's not whether or not I like them they help me I'm like well shit here I have two more I don't use them I held them from Glenview. Like, I had them all the way from Glenview. I'm like, I don't need these. I don't use them. Have at them, man. He's like, oh, for real? Instantly started taking one apart, flipping it around. And he's like, yes, yes. <laughs> he's like, I needed one where the middle came out and interchanged. I'm like, have at it, man. <laughs> but I bet you that's what it's good for. So I don't do this and scratch the shit out of myself. I wish I can just get a place here. Like, I wish I could just manifest enough money for rent and just do it. You know? Because everywhere I look, a mountain, a mountain, a mountain. Surrounded by mountains. Like, we're in a big valley, mountainous valley. That shit is so fucking beautiful. The wonders of the fucking world, you know? I could just stare off at those mountains and forget I'm surrounded by humans. Humans fucking suck. (laughs) Somebody told me that 
if you guys are willing to donate, and it's obvious that some of you are, somebody said that maybe I should start a GoFundMe for, like, collecting money to get a van or a camper type thing that I could just sleep in. I forget who I forget who who suggested that. I don't think it was one of you guys. It might have been Reaper, because I, I talked to him about my channel and I told him that like what was up because he see me film and he asked me why. So I told him about that, and he's like, yeah, it was Reaper. I remember it. And he's like, well, why don't you ask them to like collect up money so you can get a a van. I'm like, because it's not on them to do for me. <laughs> I'm like, I should do that myself. He's like, you never know. The only reason why I bring this up is because I want your opinion on that as well. Is that asking too much? I mean, I don't like asking. Like, that's why the GoFundMe that I had before, I never shared it on anything. I know I put it in my description a few times, but that's it. I just put it there. I didn't even mention it. It was there. People who know me know I don't like asking. So if I were not a GoFundMe because they just send you checks in the mail and I don't have a mail mailing address, but like, would that be e-begging? If I were to try to start a campaign or something to, uh, for a collection, like this is an honest thing. I'm not hinting. I'm not sending a subliminal message. I really want to know if, if that's like, is that wrong to do? Like, is that literally, literally asking too much? Because like, I don't even like asking people for a quarter. Nonetheless, for help for a van or camper. I know back in Glenview, the first GoFundMe I started was Scrubbelow Needs a Van. But I didn't post that on anything because I'm like, that's stupid. Like, I shouldn't be asking people to buy me a van. And the more I talk about it now, the more I feel... Like, it's wrong. Like, I shouldn't even put this in the video. But I'm going to leave it in because I don't want you guys thinking I'm, I'm faking shit or, or I'm just making my videos better for more attention. So I'm going to leave it in even if it is something wrong because I make mistakes. I'm just trying to think out loud, and since I got nobody next to me to help me think, I'm thinking out loud to you guys. <sighs> that would be sweet, though. I've always wanted to do that. Like, even when I was in Glenview, Kat and I were talking about, uh, just getting a van and traveling. Making sure that we come up with enough money for gas. And just travel. But Vegas would have been one of the places I traveled to. And if seeing those uh, caves in that desert area, I'm thinking if I had a van, I can go sleep out there at night. Nobody would fuck with me. Granted, that was an hour drive. But that would be, how beautiful would that be? Out there just to go park your van by the water and sleep there, see the sunrise by the cliff. Man, I never realized I love nature as much as I do. Huh. Uh. I don't know.
I almost feel like I need to watch what I say to you guys now. Just so I don't get people hating on me for my random thoughts. But this is who I am. Take it or leave it. Love me or hate me. What you see is what you get. If you go, if you guys don't like watching me talk about this shit, unsubscribe, back the fuck up, and not come back. <laughs> Cause after all, I'm here for myself. <laughs> no, <laughs> I started this for myself. Now, I'm doing more and more for you guys. Cause you guys, you guys like. You give me time. You take time out of your day to watch me babble. So I'm going to do what I can to uh, entertain you. Yet keeping it real and raw. I would say uncut. But you can tell by all these clips that I'm cutting. <laughs> I don't cut shit out. I'll just snip the end a little bit, cause, like, I don't want you guys to see me going like this to hit stop, so I cut that off, you know? But, sometimes I'll leave it in. Like that, I'll leave that in. <laughs> the whole time she was walking this way, she was staring and smiling at me. So I was smiling back. But I don't have the balls to be like, hey, what you doing? Want to get a room tonight? <laughs> I, I can't approach women. They approach me. Like, I seriously, I don't have an opening line. I, I don't have the courage to go up to a chick and just be like, blah. I don't have the courage. They usually come to me. Practically the same thing with Cat. Like, I mean, I guess I made the first contact with Cat because she walked past me and she had green and orange hair at the time. And I was like, ooh, I like your hair. I guess that's all it took because I kept walking pretty much. But she looked for me again the same day. She came looking for me. So, like, I don't need to approach women. But if I don't, it takes forever for me to get one. Like before Cat, the last girl I had was like three or four years prior. I wish I had enough balls because this one that just walked by was so adorable. She was oh so cute. Rebound. Well, that sucks. Management just came out of Albertsons and said I can't be chilling here. My phone only charged to 25%. So now I guess I need to press my luck over at Walmart. Shit. <sighs> Somebody must have saw me sitting here and complained because I don't see any fucking cameras. Who the hell would complain about somebody just sitting down minding their own fucking business? God damn it. How could it be offensive to people to just sit on a sidewalk, minding your own damn business, not even talking to anybody, just sitting there? How could that be offensive to anybody to make them want to bitch to the management? The fuck is wrong with people? Like, people are so self-centered, they only think about themselves until they see somebody who's down on their luck. Then, they're interested in that person. But not in a good way. They're interested, like, huh, how can I fuck his day up? Fucking people, man. I fucking hate people. God fucking damn it, I was in a good mood. <sighs> the more I think about it, the more I think I'm going to fucking do it. I think I'm going to get the motel. Because, uh... 
I got an idea while I was sitting there edit, editing this video. I was thinking the motel that I stayed at that was 50 was on Fremont. Right down the street from uh, Fremont Experience. So I'm thinking if I get the room early enough that I will take a quick two, three hour nap, wake up, try to find some cardboard and a pen, and go sit down by the experience, hold, just putting a sign next to me that says stranded, need Greyhound home. Hmm. Because I've seen a lot of people sitting out there with their signs saying, oh, Wait. you know, I need help with this, or a uh, retired vet being treated poorly, please be kind. Like, it's not really begging. It's just telling people, look, I'm in a bad situation. So maybe if I just say stranded, need Greyhound home, maybe somebody will drop me a couple bucks so I can get home. Wait. I've never done that shit before though. I don't even know. Like I just the thought of it is making me nervous <laughs> and anxious, you know, I don't know. I used to look at people begging. Even though I was homeless, I look at people who are begging as like too needy. But now I am one of them. At this moment, I'm really needy. So I feel their pain, and now I kind of want to do it. Because it's not like I have to physically ask. It's just telling people my situation, and maybe it'll tug on their heartstrings to help. Does that make me a bad person? I don't know. I'm experiencing a bunch of new shit that I've never experienced before and I don't know how to feel about it. Maybe that's my whole problem. Maybe that's why I'm going through this emotional roller coaster right now. So please guys, bear with me through this. Doggy. The doggy. There it is. Yep, there you are. <laughs> ah, chilling by Walmart. Got the plug in and nobody's bugging me. Yeah. So I got my charge going on. As I sit here editing the video that you are now watching. <laughs> Reaper's back and he brought company. There's the doggy. The doggy doggy. <laughs> <laughs> I got your attention, doggy. Fuck. Tell me I'm not getting a word on my hand. Oh, now you're not gonna focus? You were just focused before. There we go. Oh, is that a start of a wart? It's bumpy. Uh, I hope not. I don't need a wart on my hand. I'll bite that bitch off. Nom, 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 nom. Well, as I sit here editing the video, as I film it, I'm coming to realize I have to end this. I'm not going to have enough room. Like I said, my, my editing app only does an hour at a time. So, uh, peace? <laughs>